Welcome to this video tutorial on basic searching in the Literature Resource Center, presented by Kate Cushion, the English Liaison Librarian at the University of Regina. We're going to look at three big questions today. What is the Literature Resource Center? Where do I find it? And how do I search in it? So we'll start with the what question. The Literature Resource Center combines several databases into one big searchable database for literature, literary criticism, and related topics. It includes the Modern Languages Association International Bibliography, which is probably the most important database for literary research. You can use basic search or advanced search to find articles on literature and literary studies. I usually suggest to students who are starting their essays in English that this is the first place they should go. So where do you go when you're looking for it? Well, start off on the U of R Library website under Start Your Research here on the right-hand side. Click on LibGuides. Then you want to go to the list of English LibGuides. Click on English Literature. Then click on the Finding Articles tab, and the Literature Resource Center is the first on the list there. So how do you search in it? Well, let's take a look. So the default in the Literature Resource Center is the basic search. As you can see, there is only one search box in the basic search, and you can tell it where you want to search for words in. You can tell it to search for words in person, by, or about, in the name of the work, in keywords, or in all text. Personally, I like to go straight to the advanced search. As you can see, the advanced search has got three search boxes that you can enter terms into, which you can then connect with Boolean operators selected from the drop-down menus on the left-hand side. So we're just going to leave those at AND for now. You can also add a row if you find that three rows is not sufficient for the research terms that you're looking to enter. Now, I like to change all of the search terms to keyword unless you're doing some fairly advanced research and have an idea of where you want to search for the term. Keyword is generally a good place for you to be doing your searches. So let's just do a basic search here. Shakespeare and women but I'm going to use a star instead of the E in women. That way the database will search for women and woman, singular and plural. I'm also going to click this box here to limit our results to peer-reviewed publications. So let's see what we get from that search. All right, now as you can see, it sorts the results in categories. And if you are writing an essay, the categories you're going to be interested in are literature criticism on the left-hand side. That's what we're looking at now. And the MLA International Bibliography on the right-hand side. So. I'm just going to go straight to the MLA International Bibliography because it has a lot of really high quality research in it. Now as you can see the results are sorted by the publication date descending which means that the most recent ones come up first. You can change that if you're looking for something different but I'm going to leave it as it is. You'll also notice on the left hand side here that it's giving you suggestions for some of the subjects that are coming up in this search. If you notice that one of these subject areas is something that you're interested in, you can click on one of these. The number next to it is the number of articles that are categorized that way. So that's one way that you can narrow your search. We definitely need to narrow this down because 341 articles is way too many. So I'm going to search within these results for feminism, but again I'm going to put a star at the end of the word so that it will search for feminism and feminist. And the box that is to search within these results has already got a check mark in it, so let's just go ahead with this. Now that has reduced our number, as you can see, to 46 from 341. 46 is a pretty good number of articles to have. It's a number that I'm comfortable scrolling through and just taking a look to see what has turned up in this search. So if you see an article in your list that you are particularly interested in, what you can do is just click on the title. This will take you to the more detailed record for that article. Here you've got some tools so that you can email this citation to yourself or download it so that you will have a record of what you have found. You'll also notice that a lot of these articles will have a where can I get this button. So if you decide you want to get this article, you can click on that. And what it's doing is searching the library at the University of Regina to see if we have it. So you'll see here under U of Regina, check detailed holdings. If you click on that, it will take you to the listing for this particular journal. If the button isn't there, you can always just take a look at the journal title, which in this case is the History of European ID 
is. It's the words in italics there. If you type that into the library catalog search, you'll see whether or not we actually have that in the catalog. So that's how you conduct basic searching in the Literature Resource Center. Now, if you're having trouble with any of that, once you go in to do your own research, there are plenty of resources online to help you with that. I would suggest going to the LibGuides on the University of Regina Library website under Start Your Research Here. Again, just click on LibGuides. Lots of the English LibGuides have got tips on searching in the Literature Resource Center. There are also other videos available online, like this one on YouTube, for example, which is produced by the Literature Resource Center. And you can find that by doing a search in YouTube or doing a Google search. There's also some really good information in the help and tips pages in the Literature Resource Center itself. These pages are available from every single page in the Literature Resource Center, so if there's something that you're not sure how it works or not sure how to do it, click on one of those and see if the information is in there. There's also lots of help for you in the library. Our reference librarians are always happy to help answer your questions. You can visit them in person on the first floor of the Archer Library. You can also get in touch with them via instant message. Anywhere on the website that you see the Ask Archer logo, click on that and it will take you to an instant chat with a reference librarian. You can also get in touch with me, the Liaison Librarian for English. My name is Kate Cushion. My phone number and email address are right there. You can also find them through our library website. I'm happy to help you at any stage of your research. So this concludes our video tutorial on basic searching in the Literature Resource Center. Good luck with your studies.